Hi guys, welcome to Sew It, Grow It, Eat It. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick uh, greenhouse update. Uh, two weeks ago, I put, uploaded a video on my uh, whole vegetable garden update, and uh, a lot of has a lot has changed uh, since then. Uh, what, what I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm just going to be doing a uh, what do you call it? A greenhouse update. And then in another video I'm going to just gonna be doing a a vegetable like the outside vegetable uh garden update. So starting off with the melon plant, in the last video it used to be in a tall pot and it used to be going along here. I've took that down and what I've done, I've started feeding it uh, with a tomato feed. Okay, and please can you leave in the comments below if I'm doing it right or wrong, I don't really know. I've never grown any of these stuff before. So basically, uh, here is a melon. It hasn't, I don't think it's flowered yet. It might have, no I don't think so. It's like here are the male flowers. These uh, uh don't produce anything, but these are the female like flowers, and they do produce melons. But after a while, because I haven't been, I'm going. I've been now. I've started watering them properly. Now they're actually producing stuff. Kind of thing. Look, the the leaves are getting much greener, and they're getting much more healthier. And it's called. Melon, uh, Melba. If you, if we go over to here, here are the cu three cucumber plants. You can see a lot of flowers, but not a lot of cucumbers. Basically, there's a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Male flowers. Uh, but there are a few actual, look, cu mini cucumbers. It's like, for example, there. Where else? Let's see if I can. Don't think I, it over here. There's a cucumber. If you over there. Uh, so they're doing okay. They just started producing. These are called cucumber market more seventy six. So here. So I put it into food. Um. And basic, and they're doing it quite well. They, I've been feeding them as well with a uh, tomato feed, and they've been getting much more greener. If we move over to the chili plant, or if we move over, move the tomato plant, I say they're doing because I've plant the rest I've planted outside, but these I've put them into bigger pots, and they're doing really well now. They've like doubled in size or triple. They're doing really well. They have uh, much more flowers on them, and I think they'll eventually start producing in the later in the year. I've also, so everything is here. Mostly all my vegetables, apart from the parsnips and some other vegetables, I've been feeding with uh, tomato feed, and they've like really start started to get on now. Here are the garlic that I'm. Uh, that I've been, that I've done storing, they've getting mouldy, which I don't, suspect, don't think that's good, so I might uh, unwrap them and put them in the fridge, because it's just getting really humid lately, and I don't have a shed or anything, so I'm going to like take off the outer skins. And like, because it's just on the first layer, it's getting a bit mouldy. Anyway, here, I need to go out the greenhouse to show you this. Uh, well, it's inside the greenhouse, but it's just really big. Here are the tomato plants. They have absolutely gone wild. Since I've, ever, since I've started feeding them, two weeks ago, they were like... 
Only up to here and they've shot up. Uh, the tomatoes are here. Uh, also here. Look over there. Here, well, you get the point. There's quite a lot of tomatoes. And they're getting many more uh, trusses. So here. Here. And here. I've been feeding them with tomato feed, taking out all the uh, side shoots. I haven't, well I've done, the support system is basically just pieces of uh, string going from one end to the other, holding them back so I actually have some space, well hardly, so I have some space to move around in the uh, greenhouse and they've been doing really well. Uh, so yeah. Can you please uh, like the video, subscribe and leave a comment below. Bye.